Hello fellow simmers and YouTube subscribers of the BLS, the British Locomotive Studios YouTube channel. I'm Samuel Beeman speaking and today we give you another Train Sim 2020 video. This time on one of our work in progress routes and obviously this is our to mark our 100 subscribers special which we thank you ever so much for giving us that 100 subs and uh, yeah just keep 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 supporting us keep watching our content and uh, yeah we've got a lot coming up in the future so yeah enjoy the channel and an absolute massive thank you to you all okay so today in today's video we're going to be uh, showing um, the Swankaj and Nolsey Joint Railway which is a work in progress route from British Locomotive Studios and we're going to be doing the introduction to the Swankaj line using the BR Blue Pack Class 33 which I suppose you could say links to the previous video um, as we used the DTG Class 33 on our Trundley Close Railway Centre release uh, with the AP Armstrong Powerhouse Sounds. This time we're going to be using the BR Blue Pack Class 33 with the original DTG sound set. And we can just, you know, see how different it is compared to the Armstrong Powerhouse one. Anyway, let's get right to it and uh, show off this work in progress route, which has been, well, basically, this, 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 there's quite a story for this route. This route was released around 2013 or so. And then we decided to revamp it in 2015 and start gradually adding more to it, more stations, more, you know, more areas. So it'll be interesting once it's done. Anyhow, let's get straight into it. So basically the description of this is hello and welcome to the Swain Catch Coastal Railway route add-on for Train Simulator brought to you by British Locomotive Studios. In this scenario, you'll get to know about the route from Swankash to Mile End in the year 2010, taking control of resident Class 33 Crumpton 33004. So let's start and get into our scenario and um, yeah, just take a look at what our Swankash Coastal Railway has to offer. So we're going to be driving from Swankage to Mile End, which is basically half of the route, and yeah, it's basically the main Swankage railway. Uh, so basically, we go from Swankage, and then we call at uh, Horton, and I believe uh, Walford Junction, to then get us to Mile End. So as I say, this is a complete work in progress route. It is nowhere near finished. I don't when this is going to be released and when it's going to be finished. I do not know. Is it possible that I could release a, a, a version where we can, you know, where you can run the route with certain scenarios, possibly? But obviously, don't quote me on that because it is still a heavy work in progress and it is still yet to be solved and yet to be released. So basically while I'm on this phone doing this um, re audio recording, I'm also going to be looking and checking my Facebook because, um, yeah, okay, so someone sent me a message. Oh, it says good luck. Yeah, I'm sorting out jobs, trying to get myself a new uh, a new uh, job. Uh, it's quite difficult at these times, though, to get a permanent full-time position job somewhere uh, due to COVID-19, obviously. But uh, we'll get there in the end somehow. And yeah, so I hope you're all keeping safe as well from the coronavirus. Uh, obviously, this pandemic uh, has been going on now for a good few months and we've had to stay in. The lockdown has obviously, you know, it decreased and it's looking better. But there is still indications of a second wave, which I do not hope that that is going to happen. But obviously, I do have my theories on it. I do think that the government aren't exactly... Um, telling the truth in some respects and I do think that there's a bit more to it to what we are being told but however we've just got to deal with it and we can't do anything about it at the moment and we've just got to continue our lives doing train simulator uh, doing editing music or whatever you guys enjoy doing and yeah just keep living our lives and continuing and to stride forward 
Also, I do apologise, obviously, for the loading times of this game. As you can see, the loading times are atrocious. That is due to the fact that this hard drive that this game is on is quite slow. And obviously, I have one whole hard drive just jam-packed full of TS uh, add-ons and content. OK, so here we are. Good morning, driver, and welcome to Swank Edge Railway. Today, we shall be working a blue timetable, diesel hauled only. The weather isn't exactly up to scratch, however, it shall still be enjoyable to get to know the line. Currently, you are situated at Swankhead, one of the most popular seaside towns of Walshire. Let passengers aboard and take a look around before our 10.30 departure. Okay, so here is our steed for this uh, this afternoon, or this morning even. Is it in the morning? Yes, it is. It's 10, yeah, got a 10.30 departure. So here is 33004. We're going to turn our head codes on by pressing H and as you can see we've got the nice prototypical southern head codes there of 98. So this is Swankadge, as you can see it is a seaside resort with a car park uh, and this is the station obviously using some of the Midhance assets. We also have station signs uh, that have obviously the custom names written on. Those are downloaded from UK Train Sim, and obviously I'm going to add those with the route. To be honest, because I don't, I think they're discontinued from UK Train Sim now, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so there's Swankadge uh, signs. I think we've got yeah, we've got press T and let our passengers aboard. I forgot to do that. We've also got a cameo of Will Braddock, who is, believe it or not, helping us build this route. Um, and there we have him there with a Pizza Hut on, on a Pizza Hut sign where it says uh, opening soon 17 Braddock Street. So that is a little uh, Easter egg cameo there of him uh, created by Steve Davies Snud, Steve Davies, sorry, um, Snud, who is helping build some of the custom assets on this route as well. So let's get to our loco and set up our cab. Put it into forward. Right away, driver, onwards to Horton. Excellent. Let's check our platform is clear, it is indeed. So off we go, release our brakes. Point rodding, which has been implemented by Will Braddock, again, which is done really nicely. We also have the um, weary lines, weary lines, AP weary lines signals included there. You see, the point rodding goes all the way out, and it's prototypical, and it links to all of the moving parts and. The, the points. Okay, so we've got a 25 mile an hour limit now, great. See the scenery is nice around here, we've got a lot of foliage and other bits and pieces, a few 2D trees and different uh, obviously patches of terrain. I mean the DTG sounds on the 33 though ain't actually that bad considering their default and um, they're not as bad as some other locos that DTG have produced uh, in the game.
so we are coming up to Horton now. I mean, the station here at Horton is very nice. I mean, we've got, you know, we've got some nice sort of village scene here. And, and I mean, it, the way that the hill goes up to the station like that with the, with, the, with the pathway is really nice. I really like how I've done that. And it just looks really nice to see locos in this sort of view here. And there's a lot of scenery involved, like the telephone box and stuff like that. So I put a lot of detail in that sort of sense, little bits and pieces. It's the little things that really do make the root blossom, as it were. Okay, so this is Horton, a very small and charming village, a lovely place to relax and have a picnic while watching the trains at this lovely rural station, right away for Wolford Junction Driver, depart when ready. And you know what, that is um, a cracking screenshot actually, I'm going to just take a screenshot here and that can be for the thumbnail there we are so I've taken the screenshot and now we can depart to our next station release of brake okay so if we're not raining now so we don't need the window wiper on anymore we've got nice So Horton, Horton does have sidings as well, I forgot to mention actually, we didn't look at them. Obviously we've got sidings which store stock in, which is seen over there. Oh, a bit of a lag there. That's probably the VP grass kicking in. Um, now, the thing is, with, you know, that's, that's one thing I am going to comment in this video about the Vulcan Productions grass pack. Now, they did say that it will be frame rate friendly, right? The grass pack. It's not. Um, I have continuous frame rate issues with VP grass, especially when loading in. It's the loading in, loading the grass in, which causes the frame rate lag. And um, yeah, it's not frame rate friendly at all. And, yeah, so you do kind of struggle. I mean, I. I, I if anyone else is having these issues, please let me know. I mean, I don't know if it's just me or, you know, but my frame rates just do not like VP grass for some reason. Because uh, we have added some on this route. And it just happens every time we load up areas, the VP grass just seems to lower the frame rate uh, dramatically. And I did sort of see my Facebook go off there. I believe someone's messaged me. Let's have a look. Okay, never mind. Maybe not. So, we've got some houses up alongside the line. There's a slight gradient here heading up. It 
does look really nice, sort of looking at the line from this angle from down here and stuff like that. You know, we've got the bridge and that the train's going over the bridge. As you see, there's a VP grass kicking in again. Uh, so you can see the VP grass there, look, as the train goes over there. But it is it is quite quite dramatic how the frame rate drops with the VP grass. I mean, this scene looks lovely here, doesn't it? Over a bridge now, over a river. And you can see there's a mainline link over there. There's a mainline link at Walford Junction. And this is a serious gradient down here, so we have to be careful when um, when coming down here, because we have to slow down quite dramatically. Just to make sure we don't overspeed. Danger approved. So Wolford Junction is the main locomotive depot on the railway. So this is where we see all the many locomotives and stock stored in the station, the sidings, the goods yard, well the yard even. As seen here with the class 47 there. So I have a class 40 there, D211, a couple of bullied Pacifics, a pug, a Great Western Railway mogul, black five, or green black five, a couple of old locomotives in stock which are all just sort of knackered and had it and beaten up, a Deltic, an O3, So yeah, quite a few locomotives in the yard. Also have this nice sort of shed area where you can view in. So you know if, you, if there's anything stored in there, you can see it. Also have a little cameo of a class 27, I believe, inside the shed over here, just over the other side of the main line link. Also have obviously all the overhead live wires for the main line. An Isle of Wight signal box there. Unfortunately, for some reason, the Walford Junction signs are not working properly here. They've just come out all black. They are a bit temperamental, them name of all signs from UKTS, I must admit. It's probably why they've been discontinued. But as you can see, again, the sign is blank. I don't know why this is, but it's, it's a bugbear with the route, and I don't know how I'm going to fix it, but it's there. I do like the idle sound and the rumble of this um, DTG-33, I must admit.
So when are we going to depart? I want to depart soon. What is our times for departure? 10.46, it's 10... Oh. oh god, it's a little wait, isn't it? Mm. Now, I'm not going to do the full round trip on this video. I'm just literally doing, obviously, Swain Cash to Marland. So I'm not doing the full scenario in this, 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 this video. Uh, it's purely just to show you the section between Swankaj to uh, Marl End. I'm not going to do the return journey because otherwise it just it just make the video too long and you know not needed to watch. Starting to rain again, so I'll put my wipers on, press V to put our wipers on. Uh, it's, it, obviously, it's a shame that both both end wipers come on, so you also get the re rear wipers going as well. It would, you know, it would have made sense if they scripted it so they could be like activated either end. So, like, you know, whatever the driver's end, whatever the drive, whatever end the driver's in, the wipers will work. But Obviously they haven't done that, so it's just it's just one of those things we've just got to deal with. Right, I suppose we could just take a brief look round the model of the 33 while we're waiting. So the model is really nice of the DTG one. We've got nice sort of grills there. Oh, I hear something coming along the main line. Hang on. Oh, look, it's a 321. Okay, so yeah, the modelling on the 33 is really nice. We've got all the uh, the lamp irons uh, all there and present. We've got the nice head codes there. We've got the window wipers. We've got the ploughs and the hook and coupling with all the vacuum hoses and textured buffer beam and buffers. We even have a slight rust effect on the buffers there. It looks a bit pixelated, but it's there and it looks okay. We've also got an instruction complete sign which has just appeared saying Walford is home to many locomotives and stock the railway. It also houses a mainline link which we managed to achieve earlier this year right away from our end where we shall go through our run round procedure which we will not see because I'm not going to continue this video much longer. Anyhow, looking more at the 33, we also have the danger overhead warning stickers on the sides of the cab there, the front end even. We also have the bogey details here with the uh, rivets and bolts on the side there. We also have the nice springs there which are a bit, um, I don't know, the, this bogey texture in here isn't fabulous. It's not as good as the um, original 33 packs texturing but it will do. We also have the 33004 with the uh, data panel there. We've got these sort of grills here on the side and other bits and pieces. We have the windows and obviously handrails all around there. On the roof, sadly the fiberglass panel isn't painted so it looks a bit shit but it's okay and I mean the detail is there it's just a shame about the panel not being painted. We also have the fan there which is all nicely present there spinning and looking pretty nice. Anyhow um, we're going to head on further up our journey and finish off our video at mile end. So we're going to release our loco break, we're going to go to the window hanging view because I like it and then we're going to depart. There's a compressor was going off there which sounded quite nice. Um, 
like you know old carriages and bits and pieces just lying about, like these wagons and stuff like that. And these this line side hut, all made by Ken Keng Long of 3D Sheds, for doing the 3D models. tunnel further up which leads further up along the line up towards Nelsey. There we go. So this is Mile End and basically this this is just like a um, yeah this is just it's just a, a run round point it's not a station or anything it's just an end it's what's called Mile End. I believe it's a mile from the station as well. Uh, right, time to uncouple the locomotive and run around our train, uncouple from the coaches and head up into Mile End Loop. You can switch the points via the 9 key on your keyboard to get to this location. But we're not going to do that, we're going to finish off our video now. We're going to look around obviously Mile End, as you can see we've got some nice sort of, you know, fencing alongside the line there. We've got some foliage all around and uh, this, this run round here. We've also got this pointless siding here sort of secondary run round this is just for like storing a wagon or whatever I mean it's completely pointless I don't know why it's even there but it's there <laughs> but hey ho um, we've also got a nice bus on top of the uh, bridge that leads to nowhere at the moment there's going to be a road implemented on there I believe which obviously isn't complete yet we have the mile end sign which again is slightly bugged it's just black and then we have this three in the middle here which is just wrong I don't know why that's there but it's there Another bugbear with the route, and obviously we've got uh, our signalman and workman there as well, and our signal. So yeah, anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. And for, obviously, again, thank you for the 100 subscribers, uh, and thanks again for all the support you've given us so far on our journey in the YouTube world on British Locomotive Studios. Uh, do comment, like, and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And obviously uh, comment any questions you might have about the route and obviously anything else or any other products that you know you may be interested in that we are set to be releasing or you know even UK train sounds as we do trains you know the train Z sounds for sound you know for the trains if you want any requests do tell us and um, yeah so thanks very much for watching guys this has been Samuel Beeman of British Locomotive Studios and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.